डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सेशन पार्ट टू ऑन टेलर सीरीज दो डोंट वॉच दी पार्ट वन वीडियो गो टू द प्ले लिस्ट वॉच टेलर सीरीज बेसिक्स एंड प्रॉब्लम एंड पार्ट वन एंड कम बैक हियर इन द फर्स्ट सेशन वी आर डीलिंग विद प्रॉब्लम ऑन ई पवर एक्स वाई हाउ टू एक्सप्रेस ई पवर एक्स वाई एज अंफाइनेट सीरीज using taylor series formula in today's session we are going to deal with an interesting function e power x sin y if you learn this a similar problem e power x into cos y can be easily tackled so for this function people can give different intervals 0, 0 0, pi by 2 0, pi by 4 then similarly 1, pi by 2 1, pi by 4 minus 1, pi by 4 etc etc so if you know the basics you can easily tackle okay suppose if the problem is sin y we know sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 then cos pi by 4 is also same 1 by root 2 when it is cos pi by 2 it is going to be 0 when it is sin pi by 2 it is going to be 1 cos 0 is 1 similarly sin 0 is 0 if you know the basics you can easily tackle the problem and also regarding e power e power 0 is 1 whenever you see e power 1 just take it as e e power minus 1 take it as e power minus 1 or 1 by e don't substitute the numerical values let us go into the problem the given function is e power x into sin y let us go into the problem step 1 let us fill the data expand e power x sin y in powers of x and y up to second degree so that means the point a comma b is not given immediately we have to take it as 0 0 then a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and we need what is x minus a and y minus b so we have to fill this as x minus 0 y minus 0 that is x and y now let us go into the step 2 here we found fx fy etc etc first fill the function f and before going to the problem we know differentiation of e power x is e power x and differentiation of sin y is going to be cos y and differentiation of cos y is going to be minus sin y we know all this basics let us go into the table i want to find fx i'll find from here so whenever by do fx i'll differentiate this partially with respect to x e power x differentiation is e power x sin y remains the same fy so e power x remains constant and then sin y differentiation is cos y then f double x it come from here f double x if i differentiate fx partially with respect to x again i'll be getting e power x sin y then f double y from f y if i differentiate the function again with respect to y partially i'll be getting cos y differentiation is minus sin y e power x remains constant and finally i have to find f x y so i'll take this f x and differentiate with respect to y partially sin y differentiation is cos y e power x remains constant now we know that sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 and e power 0 is 1 now immediately wherever you see sin it is going to be 0 and only cos y terms will become 1 so my table is done next i have to go for the step 3 formula you know the formula very well now you have to go to the table see the table f fx f double x f double y they are zero so as i said take your pencil or a different color mark the zero data f fx f double x f double y all are zero so the remaining term is simply fy and fxy we know the values of this substitute here and just simple simplification will be getting y plus xy and very important you have to write plus dot 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 it goes up to infinity so now we expressed e power x sin y in terms of a infinite series for the same problem they can ask a different points 1 comma pi by 2 0 comma pi by 2 minus 1 comma pi by 4 1 comma pi by 4 you should be ready to do this kind of problems only points are changing concept will never change yes for example i took this problem minus 1 pi by 4 so my points are minus 1 comma pi by 4 a is minus 1 and b is pi by 4 so x minus a is opposite to this minus of minus plus 
So x plus 1, y minus b is y minus pi by 4. Now, just like that we can fill this because we know it already. As I said, cos pi by 4 or sin pi by 4, both are 1 by root 2. e power minus 1 is simply e power minus 1. So, you can fill it in a simple way. Now, you see all the data contains e power minus 1 divided by root 2. So now, when I fill the formula, I can take this e power minus 1 by root 2 commonly out and then we know that x minus a is x plus y minus b is y minus pi by 4. Now, from the table, we have to substitute the values. x up to f double y, all the remaining values are going to be 1 because I am going to take e power minus 1 by root 2 commonly out. So I can express this in a simpler way. That's it students. The next problem is very simple. They give f of x comma y functions of x and y. That is x square y plus 3y minus 2. Here, what is the change in this problem? They don't give a comma b. That means you should not assume the points are 0 comma 0. It will be entirely wrong. Instead of that, the data given as expand x square y plus 3y minus 2 in powers of x minus 1 and y plus 2. That means this x minus 1 represents x minus a and y plus 2 represents y minus b. Therefore, we can see x minus a and x minus 1 comparing this we will be getting a equal to 1 because we say minus a equal to minus 1. From this, we will get a equal to 1. While you compare y minus b and y plus 2, we will be getting minus b equal to 2, that is b equal to minus 2. Or simply how to remember this, if you have x minus 1, if it is negative, then a is simply 1, write the positive value. If you have positive value here, then write the negative value. Therefore, my points a comma b is 1 comma minus 2. Done. Let us go into the steps. Given function, we write x square y plus 3y minus 2. And the point just now I tell how to find from here. It is x minus 1, y plus 2. So the point is 1 comma minus 2. a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2. x minus a is x minus 1, y minus b is y plus 2. Next, we are going to find the derivatives. It is very easy to find fx. Differentiation of x square y is 2xy. The remaining two terms does not contain x. So, it is simply 2xy. Differentiate f partially with respect to y. We will be getting x square plus 3. Next, f double x. Differentiating fx partially with respect to x again. We will be getting 2y. Next, f double y. Differentiating fy partially with respect to y. There is no y term. It will become 0. And finally, fxy differentiating fx partially with respect to y will be getting 2x. So, the table gets over. Next, we have to substitute the points one by one in the table. Considering this is the value for x and minus 2 is the value for y. When you substitute and simplify, we will be getting f equal to minus 10 and fx equal to minus 4. fy 1 square plus 3 that is 4. f double x is minus 4. f double y 0 and fx y is 2. Now the table is ready. Now we have to go for step 3. Write the formula and then we are going to substitute the values. You know f double y is 0 and the, all the remaining terms are non-zero. And x minus a is going to be x minus 1 and y minus b is going to be y plus 2. Now we have to substitute the value 1 by 1. So from the table I can check the values f is minus 10 minus 4, 4 minus 4, 0 and 2. When we substitute, we will be getting like this. Now we have to simplify this minus 10 minus 4 into x minus 1 plus 4 into y plus 2 and simplifying this minus 4 and 2 get cancelled. So, I will be getting minus 2 x minus 1 whole square. Here also when I divide by 2, I will be getting 2 into x minus 1 y plus plus dot dot dot. It goes to infinity. You can see the steps here. Next, we are going for a very jolly problem, like simple one, sin x, sin y. So, you can easily solve as like e power x cos y or e power x sin y. Okay, let us go into the problem. Since the points are not given, I am going to take it as 0, 0, a is 0, b is 0. So, x minus a is x and y minus b is 
y my step 1 gets over let us go into the step 2 sin x sin y f x when i differentiate partially with respect to x sin x differentiation is cos x sin y remains the same next i want f y so sin x remains same as constant sin y differentiation is cos y next f double x from here i am going to differentiate cos x again i'll be getting minus sin x sin y then f double y if i go here cos y differentiation is minus sin y so minus sin x minus sin y finally f x y if i differentiate this partially with respect to y sin y differentiation is cos y now we know cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 wherever the problem contains sin it's going to be 0 0 here sin x is there 0 0 and only 1 so this problem is going to be very very simple when i want to go for my step 3 and 4 i'll write the formula and i see except fx y all the terms are zero so i can simply write this now 2xy 2 1 by 2 factorial is 1 by 2 2 2 get cancel so i can write this as xy plus infinite this is not finite do you understand if i go for 1 by 3 factorial 1 by 4 factorial next steps i'll be getting some derivations so i'll simply write it as xy plus dot 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 so sin x sin y expansion gets over So let us see in the new session with new problem students thank you for watching subscribe our channel share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye